At a seminar held at the Institute of Semiconductor Physics of the Siberian branch of the Russian Academy of Sciences in Novosibirsk, candidate of physical and mathematical sciences, Dmitry Sheglov discussed the potential development of X-ray lithography technology in Russia through the use of the new SCIF facility, which is currently undergoing commissioning in Akadem Gorodok. According to him, Skyf could play a crucial role in creating a fundamentally new platform for microlithography based on the X-ray spectrum, thereby helping to overcome existing technological limitations in electronics. The SCIF experiment is only one element within a broader scientific landscape. It represents mega-science-level infrastructure, forming a cutting-edge foundation for research in physics, material science, biology, and other disciplines. The facility has entered the commissioning phase near Novosibirsk, with initial scientific experiments scheduled to begin in 2025. The Siberian Circular Photon Source, known as SCEF, is an advanced fourth-generation synchrotron radiation facility with an electron energy of 3 giga electron volts. It is being constructed in the Novosibirsk region as a major national scientific installation, combining accelerator systems with experimental stations that allow researchers to work with highly brilliant, intense, and coherent X-ray radiation. A defining scientific characteristic of SCIF is its ultra-low emittance, a parameter describing the purity and focusability of the electron beam. Low emittance enables extremely high brightness, strong coherence, and a narrow angular spread of radiation. These properties are essential for the most demanding experiments in both fundamental and applied science. The facility is being developed within Russia's national project titled Science and Universities, with the participation of the Budker Institute of Nuclear Physics of the Siberian branch of the Russian Academy of Sciences and other research organizations. The complex will include multiple experimental beamlines, engineering systems, laboratories, and support infrastructure dedicated to solving problems ranging from materials science and chemistry to biology and pharmacology. Synchrotron radiation is electromagnetic emission produced when charged particles, primarily electrons, are accelerated within magnetic fields. This radiation possesses unique qualities, including extremely high brightness, a broad spectral range extending from infrared to hard X-rays, strong directionality and coherence, and precise spectral tunability. These characteristics make synchrotron radiation an indispensable tool for atomic-scale structural analysis. It enables research spanning from biomolecular crystallography to the study of ultrafast phenomena in advanced materials. Today, more than 50 synchrotron radiation facilities operate worldwide as major national and international research centers. These include ERF in France, MAX-4 in Sweden, Diamond Light Source in the United Kingdom, and NSLS-2 in the United States. Together, they provide millions of research hours to scientists working in materials science, energy, chemistry, biology, and medicine. Lithography is the foundational technology used to fabricate circuit patterns on semiconductor substrates. It defines the geometry and dimensions of microelectronic components, directly influencing performance, energy efficiency, and functional capability of modern electronic devices. The prevailing global standard in semiconductor manufacturing relies on extreme ultraviolet lithography, which operates at a wavelength of approximately 13.5 nanometers. This technology supports the production of advanced chips at companies such as TSMC, Samsung, and Intel. Further miniaturization, however, requires even shorter wavelengths, making X-ray lithography a potential next step. So far, Large-scale industrial adoption of X-ray lithography has been limited by substantial technical challenges. These include the need for ultra-precise radiation sources, advanced optical systems, highly accurate photomasks, X-ray sensitive resists, specialized instrumentation, and extremely stable vacuum environments. If these barriers are overcome, X-ray lithography could enable dramatic feature scaling and entirely new semiconductor architectures. According to Dmitry Sheglov and other Russian researchers, 
SCEF's unique properties make it a promising platform for X-ray lithography experiments. As a bright and highly coherent X-ray source, SCIF can be adapted for complex studies involving the formation of micro and nanostructures using X-ray radiation. This approach represents a direct link between fundamental science and applied technology. Using a synchrotron source, scientists can test new photomask materials, study exposure regimes, analyze interactions between X-rays and resists, and develop experimental techniques that could later form the basis of industrial X-ray lithography. As a result, Shegloff emphasized, researchers are gaining an exceptionally powerful tool. He urged active participation and stressed the importance of securing beam lines in the next construction phase for semiconductor and solid-state physics research. At present, no large-scale commercial semiconductor factories use synchrotron radiation directly for mass production lithography. The global industry continues to rely primarily on extreme ultraviolet scanners produced by ASML. Nevertheless, research into X-ray lithography is ongoing. For example, a United States startup named Substrate has introduced an X-ray lithography system based on particle accelerators that could potentially achieve critical dimensions of around 2 nanometers. This positions it as a possible alternative or complement to extreme ultraviolet technology. In addition, many synchrotron facilities worldwide already use X-ray beams for deep X-ray lithography, also known as LIGA technology. Facilities such as ANCA in Germany have demonstrated the effectiveness of synchrotron-based X-ray lithography for producing extremely precise microstructures, even though it is not yet used for mainstream semiconductor production. There is also growing interest in X-ray free electron lasers, which generate ultra-short and highly intense X-ray pulses. These sources may become critical for future lithography methods and for studying ultra-fast structural changes in materials. For SCEF to function as a practical platform for advancing X-ray lithography, several major challenges must be addressed. These include the development of advanced X-ray optics for beam shaping and focusing, creation of stable and sensitive X-ray resists, improvements to synchronization and control systems, and achieving long-term stability suitable for industrial use. Many of these issues remain research topics rather than fully engineered solutions. However, the existence of a powerful domestic synchrotron facility provides the conditions necessary for systematic experimentation and for attracting collaborative research efforts. The SCEF project in Akadam Gorodok represents far more than a new scientific installation. It forms a cornerstone for a new phase of technological development in Russia. By combining fundamental research with applied potential, SCIF opens opportunities in X-ray lithography, a key technology for the future of microelectronics. If Russia successfully leverages SCIF's capabilities and builds a strong ecosystem of scientists, engineers, and technologists around it, the facility could provide a significant competitive advantage on the global stage. It would support progress in material science and high-resolution structural analysis and may ultimately enable breakthroughs in semiconductor manufacturing. At a time when microelectronics development is increasingly constrained by the physical limits of existing lithographic methods, infrastructure projects like SCEF may serve as catalysts for redefining how future microchips are designed and produced, from foundational experiments to transformative industrial innovations. If you like the video, please subscribe, share, and like. Also, please take the memberships to encourage us.